every Saturday here on News 6, we team up with the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando to bring you our Ask a Vet, Your Well Pet. And today we are talking about one of the most common reasons that dogs end up at the vet. That is ear infections, not a pleasant thing. Joining us now is Dr. Don Keenan, the clinical vet from the Pet Alliance, as well as our little friend Rascal, who's been dealing with this a lot. So what are some things that we should know about these infections? We hear they're pretty common in dogs. Yeah, they are one of the most common reasons a dog will be brought into the veterinarian. There are different types of ear infections. They could be bacterial or yeast or sometimes even parasites. Mm. If you have a dog that has repetitive ear infections, they often have an underlying condition. A okay. lot of times that could be an allergy problem. Mm. And ear infections left untreated can cause a lot of head shaking and can lead to um, what we refer to as an ear hematoma, mm. where the um, flap of the ear gets filled with blood. Oh, that sounds terrible. Okay. Yeah. So what are some of the signs of an ear infection that we can be on the watch for in our pets to catch it hopefully nice and early? Yeah. So if there's um, debris or odor coming from the ear, if the dog um, does a lot of ear sh um, head shaking yeah. or ear scratching, um, or if there's discharge running out of the ear or things to look for. Okay. Yeah. We will not slack on that. So what are some of the treatment options? Well, depending on the type of infection, the, um, the veterinarian will usually prescribe some ear flushes mm -hmm. and ointments. And in some bad um, infections, there may even be oral medications, including antibiotics and pain medicine and steroids um, to help them be more comfortable. <laughs> what if your dog is prone to these infections, gets them all the time? Is there anything you can do to try to cut down on those reoccurrences? Well, you do want to try and work with your veterinarian to try and determine what the underlying cause is. Mm -hmm. um, if you are able to treat and identify their allergy, then maybe you can reduce the effects of the ear infections. Also, you want to make sure you um, employ a good cleaning program yeah. and keep their ears clean. That'll allow you to evaluate, um, check their ears more frequently, and um, reduce any debris in their ears. Yeah, good information as always, Dr. Keenan. Thank you so much for being with us today. And also want to remind you that Rascal here, maybe the sweetest dog in the world, <laughs> is up for adoption. And if you want all the information about ear infection dangers, we'll connect you to the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando through our website. It's clickorlando.com.